All right. Uh, good day, everyone. Hi. Uh, this is our fifth lecture on control structures. So compared to what we have done in the previous lectures, where we have uh, learned how to draw flowcharts, and we have seen how each blocks in the flowchart correspond to a certain process. And each process has its own meaning. And we have also seen how we can use the diamond shaped blocks uh, to construct uh, what we call uh, decision making. And uh, as far as coding is concerned, we have covered um, the basic Python functionalities that includes uh, variables, um, data types, and also some ways of printing the uh, output using Python's uh, print function and we also seen some ways of uh, doing a type conversion and also um, output formatting. So today we're going to um, introduce one of the control structures um, for programming and we're going to start to talk about the basics of what we call structured programming. Alright, so without further ado, let me just show you the next slide. So you're going to talk about control structures and basically there they are three control structures that is part of um, a programming technique called uh, structural programming. So here you can see that we have uh, three forms of control structures that are basically the basic building blocks of what your program is going to contain. So at a very simple, simple uh, case, a program uh, can be said to be constructed by uh, three of these, which is called a sequence. Right, sequence, selection, as well as a repetition. So here you can see the flow chart that corresponds to these three types of control structures. So here, um, sequence is a control structure where the instructions are uh, ordered and they run according to uh, such a sequence. So any sequence that was uh, after another sequence in the flow chart like this means that it will be executed later. So for example, say I call this instruction A, this one is instruction B, and this one is instruction C. So A will be, in, will be executed first before B, and then followed by C. So, so that is not what you call a sequence structure. And that means that um, a program consists of a sequence of instructions. Moving on, we have another kind of control structure that is called selection. And you can see that uh, in this diagram, uh, this flow chart where there is a diamond shape and in this diamond shape you're going to make some decisions depending on the result of the decision uh, it will lead you to different paths and and different path consists of different instructions okay so typically uh, for programming the decision block typically has a yes or no uh, directions or true or false and yes no or true false which eventually uh, allows you to select um, whichever instructions that need to be executed depending on the result of the decision and eventually uh, they are connected by a connector and eventually that, that uh, converges uh, back to one path as you can see here. Finally, the one that we have also seen uh, last week especially uh, which is about repetition. So again, we have a decision block and uh, when this decision uh, is evaluated to true or yes, okay, let me just write yes here. If it's a yes, that means uh, you will execute some instructions. And after that, you will repeat back to this decision block again before it is checked to determine whether it should repeat or it should terminate of the loop. So usually the termination uh, will go to the no uh, it would be actually no for the decision, and therefore uh, that ends the 
uh, the flow chart. So here we have it, sequence, selection, and repetition. So in today's lecture, we are actually going to cover these, these um, control structure, which is called a selection. And we're going to see how we can do that in Python and what are the uh, language construct that we can use um, for, for, for implementing the selection control structures. So let's move on to uh, the next slide, which is about the if statement. So if statement actually is the statement in not just Python, but also other languages that allows you to implement the selection structure. So let's look at the syntax of the if statement. So in Python, uh, it looks like this. First, we have a if keyword, and that followed by a space. Right, there must be a space uh, after the if state if um, if keyword, then followed by a condition. So this condition, as uh, as was probably mentioned before, is actually the it's actually a boolean expression, right? The expression. Right. So this boolean expression will evaluate to either true or false, and if only this boolean expression is true, then it will execute uh, what we call the indented block of statements. Right. So uh, if you look at the syntax again, we have a if keyword followed by a space and a condition, and that condition is actually a boolean expression. And that follows with a colon. Okay, this is called colon character. So this is actually a, 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 a this character is a must. You must have this colon character before you jump into the indented block of statements. And again, there is one more subtle uh, information, uh, subtle detail, which is that there is a gap which is usually called indentation. Indentation. Um, uh, that is, uh, that, that actually leaves a gap from the far left um, of the code to, to uh, 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 there's a gap between the far left to the, the statements that we're going to write after the if condition. So if statement is actually the simplest selection structure and uh, it allows us to check a condition and change the behavior of the program accordingly. So only when the condition evaluates to true, then the indented block of statements will be executed. Right? So that is actually uh, mentioned here. If the indented block of statements is uh, uh, it will be executed if only the condition is true. And uh, just to repeat again, uh, the column character is, is needed and you must follow the condition. So this is a syntax. Let's look at an um, example. So here we have a, a flow chart that looks like this. So it has a diamond shape and uh, the decision to check is whether x is more than zero. If the x is more than zero, which means if it's true, then it will execute, it will come to this block that says uh, show positive, so this is actually output, output uh, block. If it is not true, which means if x is less than, okay, in the case of false, x is less than or equals to zero, then it will actually uh, have no, as you can see here, there is no blocks being executed, and eventually it will Converge back and con uh, to this connector. How do we represent this flowchart using the Python code? You can see that on the right hand side, it's actually like this. So it's actually an if statement that goes if, and you notice here this is the condition, right? So the condition here is actually a Boolean expression that uh, that evaluates whether x is more than zero. If x is truly more than zero, then it will print positive. So the code that you see here corresponds to the flowchart given here. 
Alright, so that means a uh, positive will only be printed if x is more than zero. So this is the simplest uh, um, statement that you can uh, write for uh, to to execute a selection structure. So let's look at a slightly more complicated example. So right now is the is is it's kind of the same as what we had before, except that I have more blocks to be executed when the decision is true. Okay. So you notice that here I have more than one statements to be executed. One is to show the positive, one is to show done. And on the other side, where the uh, if the decision evaluates the force, there is still no blocks allocated to this path. So the corresponding Python, uh, Python code for this is that if x is more than 0, and notice here there's a colon, and you basically just write the Python code that corresponds to the, to the blocks in the full chart. And because both of these must be executed if x is more than 0, therefore you put them uh, such, a way, such that there is an indentation for both of these. So usually, how do you um, how do you um, type uh, how do you uh, create an indentation? The easiest way is to just um, press the tab button on the keyboard, right? And that will give you a uh, it will give you a, 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 a several spaces uh, as a as a gap from the from the left side of the code. Uh, uh, to, to, towards the right. So uh, by pressing the tab button, in this case, we'll make sure that the code is um, sort of aligned at the same at the same uh, horizontal line. So therefore, therefore in this case, um, therefore in this case, you will have a consistent look for the print method. Let's look at another example. So here I slightly changed the example a bit. Look at the flow chart again. So um, this time, notice that the diamond shape, when it's true, it will show positive, but there is a connector before the block show done. Right? And uh, on the false part, uh, still the same, we don't have any blocks for it. So in this case, how do we draw the flow chart for this? Sorry, how do we actually write the code for this? Is going to look like this. Now notice here, uh, the if statement is still the same, where we have the if keyword followed by a space and followed by the um, uh, condition, which is x more than 0, and then there's a colon. And show positive corresponds to print positive in Python. And you can see there is an indentation from the left, uh, there is one indentation separating the left side of the code to uh, the right, the the, uh, the right side here. And if you notice that the the done is printed at the same line as where the if statement is. So this is actually how a uh, Python works. Yeah, we actually will we will check whether a code is part of a a if statement or not by just looking at the indentation. So therefore here uh, in Python, you must always remember that in Python, indentation is important. Right? Indentation is very important. So this is very important to know. So if you just make a mistake only on the indentation, then it will give a significantly different meaning and hence the logic will be different. So um, that's actually all for a very simple introduction of what is a selection control structure and what is the what, what is the corresponding Python code to implement the selection control structure. And you can see that it's actually an if statement. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna stop for now. In the next video, we're gonna talk about the other more advanced uh, if statements. Thank you very much.